During the Second World War, no one could have imagined that a performer possessed the audacity to venture into the dangerous world of spying. Meet Josephine Baker, whose dazzling stage performance hid a secret and a double life. How did this remarkable woman get involved in the secret world of spies? And how did her celebrity status allow her to seamlessly blend into the shadows, remaining undetected by the enemy? Join us as we look into the captivating story of Josephine Baker, where the allure of fame met the dangerous allure of espionage and the fate of countries hung in the balance. As the war drums of the Second World War spread across Europe in 1939, France's head of the military intelligence service, Jacques Abte, recruited an unexpected and unlikely spy, the most famous woman in France, Josephine Baker. Paris, Paris while Jacques Abte sought men who could travel without suspicion, a celebrity of Baker's status would attract people but also elude their attention as a spy, and fame would be her cover. Jacques Abtery hoped Baker would utilize her stardom, charm and beauty to seduce secrets from the lips of diplomats at parties. Even though there was a risk of being caught as a spy, Josephine Baker remained brave and fearless. She didn't let fear control her actions. In fact, she laughed at the danger, showing incredible courage and determination to fulfill her mission. Aside from being a part-time spy, Josephine Baker was still a performer. She used her talents to uplift people's spirits during the challenging times of war. In addition, she selflessly devoted her time to comforting and supporting refugees who had been displaced by the turmoil of the war, providing them with solace and a glimmer of light in their darkest days. As the German forces closed in on Paris in early June 1940, the danger became closer than they had imagined. Recognizing the imminent danger, Baker's handler, Abte, insisted that she leave the city. He understood her vital role as a spy and wanted to ensure her safety. Baker reluctantly packed her belongings, which included priceless items like a gold piano and a bed with a fascinating history that once belonged to Marie Antoinette, and then her pets. With the invaders on the doorstep of Paris, Baker bid farewell to her beloved city, embarking on a journey to a chateau 300 miles away, seeking refuge and shelter from the encroaching threat. In the new environment, Baker transformed her quarters into a sanctuary for refugees and members of the French resistance. There was no backing down. With selflessness and bravery, she hid resistance members and provided a safe haven for those fleeing persecution. In one of the scenarios, she was suspected of hiding resistance members. Due to this, a German colonel demanded entrance to her house so that he and a group of armed Nazis could search it. She challenged the colonel and threw him off balance with her words so that he left without even conducting the search warrant he came with. Several people described her way with the Colonel as the Josephine Baker effect. She effectively utilized this skill off and on stage to seduce her audience and disarm her enemies. If the Colonel and his soldiers had arrived a few minutes earlier, they would have unexpectedly encountered two agents from the Deuxième Bureau, a French intelligence service forced to operate secretly due to the Nazi occupation. Josephine's chateau had become a central meeting place for the newly formed French resistance movement. It served as a safe haven where spies could store important information and find shelter. When they found that Josephine Baker, a black American who was already famous, was actually working as an agent for the Duxiem Bureau, they were stunned. In November 1940, Josephine Baker and Abti embarked on a daring mission to smuggle important documents to General de Gaulle, a prominent leader in London. They understood the crucial role these documents played in the war effort. Josephine, under the guise of embarking on a South American tour, hid sensitive photographs under her dress. She also carried along her sheet music, which carried information about the German troops in France, written in invisible ink. It was during this time that her fame became a precious asset in their covert operations. Her status as a renowned entertainer drew attention wherever she went. This fame served as a diversionary tactic, allowing Abti to move discreetly and unnoticed in the shadows. 
While all eyes were fixed on Baker, Abti skillfully navigated through the intricate web of danger, using her star power to facilitate their mission's success. Josephine Baker's espionage journey continued as she infiltrated embassy parties in Portugal and Spain. Because influential people were present, Baker had the perfect opportunity to gather crucial information at these gatherings. Unbothered by the risks, she skillfully observed and listened, extracting valuable information that could aid the war effort. To ensure the secrecy of the intelligence she acquired, Baker employed a clever method of concealment. She discreetly wrote detailed notes on small pieces of paper and skillfully tucked them away in her bra. This unconventional hiding place allowed her to keep the valuable information close and secure, hidden from prying eyes. Baker's status as a unique performer drew attention and recognition wherever she went, and she skillfully exploited this position to avoid suspicion. In 1941, her duty as an intelligent spy took her to North Africa. She took with her 28 bags and a collection of animals, including monkeys, mice, and a Great Dane. The more Baker's travel stood out, the less suspicious it made people. In Morocco and throughout North Africa, Baker collaborated closely with the French Resistance, a courageous network of individuals fighting against the occupying forces. Together, they worked tirelessly to support the cause of freedom. Additionally, Baker played a crucial role in aiding Jewish refugees who were fleeing persecution. Her actions provided a glimmer of hope and assistance to those seeking safety in turbulent times. However, in June 1941, tragedy struck that she couldn't continue her work as a spy anymore. She was hospitalized with peritonitis for 18 months and underwent several surgeries. Her health was so bad that the Chicago Defender mistakenly ran her obituary. Despite this challenging period, she received unwavering support from American diplomats who recognized her dedication and importance to the war effort. After the war had ended, in a great moment of pride, in 1961, Josephine Baker was awarded France's highest military honors. She received the Croix de Guerre and the Legion of Honor at a ceremony where details of her espionage work were revealed to the world. The honors symbolized deep respect and admiration for her brave acts during the war, including her espionage work. The Josephine Baker's spy story is one of extraordinary bravery and resilience. From her early espionage career attending diplomatic parties to her fearless attitude towards being caught, Baker proved herself to be a remarkable asset to the war effort. She continued her covert operations, smuggling documents and gathering intelligence, all while utilizing her celebrity status as a shield. Her journey took her from Paris to Morocco and beyond, leaving a lasting mark on the world of espionage. Throughout her spy career, Josephine Baker showed unwavering courage and an indomitable spirit. She fearlessly faced danger, never letting fear hinder her mission. Her willingness to risk her own safety for the greater good is revealing of her remarkable character. Baker's determination and resolve set her apart as a true hero, dedicated to fighting for justice and freedom. Josephine Baker's life and legacy continue to inspire and captivate generations. Her incredible achievements as a spy, entertainer and advocate left an indelible impact on the world. Her acts of bravery and unwavering commitment to her adopted country of France serve as a shining example of the power of an individual to make a difference. Baker's remarkable story transcends time, reminding us that even in the face of adversity, one person's actions can leave a lasting and positive impact on society. Don't forget to comment on what you think about Josephine Baker. Do you think she did something wrong by exploiting her celebrity status, or is she what you would call a hero without a cape? Also, don't forget to watch other videos if you enjoyed this one.